Someone asked me if I could give them a pep talk, like before an event. Okay, here it goes. First, don't ever talk about what I'm about to tell you. I know that sounds a little creepy, but when you talk about things, it releases them. You know, that's why we're always told to talk about trauma. And uh, if there's one thing I've learned about getting yourself into the zone and into a, a good state of mind, if you figure out how to do that and you tell someone, there's a 90% chance that the first person you tell is going to say something stupid about it. Like, why are you doing that weird thing? That's dumb. Why? It's stupid, right? And then the next time you go to do it, you're going to hear their stupid voice screwing it up for you. So if you start doing this, what I'm about to explain, don't ever talk to anyone about it. I mean, until you're like a coach one day or whatever, you don't need it anymore. Then you can tell your athletes or whatever. But... And if there's someone you want to share this with, like a, like a teammate or a friend who you really trust to not come and screw it up for you, just tell them to watch this video. And if your teammate or friend has told you to watch this video, they're trusting you a lot. So don't screw this up for them, okay? And if you start doing this and you're at some event and you see your friend quietly thinking to themselves right before the event and you're about to do the same and you, you catch eye contact, just give them a nod because there's nothing to talk about. You know what you're doing. They know what you're doing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> okay, here's what you do. Imagine yourself at your event, <clears throat> and it's about to start, and you get yourself ready, and then bam, the event starts, and you start going, and you're doing all right, and the event continues, and you're doing all right, and you get all the way to the end of the event, the event and you did all right, right? And your coach comes up to you and says, hey, not bad. And then your friends and family come over and say, Hey, you're amazing. Oh, that was great. We saw you out there. Oh, that was great. And you're getting all this, this attention and something just doesn't feel right. Like you have this sick feeling in, in the pit of your stomach. And it doesn't matter if you won a medal or you lost or did, you start to understand all those sayings about it. it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's how you play the game because you know you didn't do your best. You did all right. And the whole, the whole competition, you did okay. And the whole competition, you might have been thinking, man, where's that part of me? Where's that part of me that's just going to come out and be like, Rah! and just like, like push me to the, to the max, take me to the next level. You know, where, where's that great performance? Because all I did was a mediocre performance. And you're not going to be able to explain it to everyone because everyone's going to be like, oh, you did, you did fine. But that evening, laying in bed, when everything's quiet and you're there just with your own thoughts, you're going to have to face yourself knowing that you did not give your best. And it's going to feel terrible. It feels, it feels sickening knowing that you did not do your best. And you're going to lay there and wish that you could just go back and do it again. Because now you've got that part. Now you've got that, that rage, that feeling that you just want to, ah, oh, if I could just get one more chance, I would not waste it. Okay, now come back. Now you've got that feeling. But don't feel it right now. Push down those goosebumps. Don't feel inspired. Don't let your heart rate rise. Push it all down. And take that feeling and stick it into a box. And put a lid on that box and put a pin in the top of that box. And now you've got this box that's like a hand grenade. And as soon as you pull out that pin, it's just going to fill you with this raging energy, this maximum potential. Then that's the thing you can't find when you're cracking. When you crack, you can't find that. But here it is. You've got it in a box. Now you can either just take this box with you and trust that you're going to figure out when you need it and, and pop the box open or you can think about the event that's coming up and say okay i'm going to need it right at the beginning so as soon as the the gun goes off or the whistle or whatever i'm going to pop that box open and go maximum or maybe you want to put it at the halfway point of the game or maybe you know that there's a certain point you crack where it's like coming down the final stretch you, you need to put the box there so when you get to that part that's when you pop open that box but when you pop open that box, you know that you're just going to be maxing out from that point on. So take care of your box. Don't tell anyone about it. And good luck.